Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. A cold front, weather warnings are still ongoing right up until Friday, with rain expected again on Thursday. Oh my goodness, I'm not used to this at all and I'm completely out of sorts. I guess it will take a while to get climatized. Anyway guys, I really don't know what to tell you today. I think the difference between William and Harry or the monarchy and Harry has never been clearer. William is making a documentary about homelessness while Harry is making one about polo. <laughs> never had two brothers, two men from the same background appeared so different. And Harry still does not understand the backlash he is getting for the Tillman Award. Well, either he's very stupid or he's so up his own arse that he can't see himself for who or what he is. I see some British general had called on Harry to decline the award, not to embarrass himself, his country or the British army. but. Regardless of it all, there's still not a peep out of Harry. What is he doing? Is he going to wait until the very last minute and then go, Oh, sorry, I can't accept it? Is he one of those who are going, Well, if I can't have it, then nobody can? It appears to be the case. Or will he wait until the last minute and then send someone like, say, James Holt? or someone else to collect the award on his behalf because he is too much of a coward to face the music himself. That's another possibility. Or is Megan so brass-necked that she will force them to go just so she can get a photo up in a new outfit? <laughs> Honestly, I have never seen anyone who can show so much teeth in some sort of rectus grin while being booed. <laughs> well, at the very least, I do hope there will be a couple of hundred people outside the venue booing them. Yes, the coward will likely make his entrance through the parking garage. Remember, he's done that before, but it's okay make such a racket that they can't hear themselves talk inside the venue. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens in three days. We were talking about Megan's plagiarism, her stealing other people's lives and stories yesterday. But how many of you are aware that she stole her 43% Nigerian story as well? Indeed, go look for yourselves. Her story is so similar to that of a biracial British journalist called Georgina Lawton that it could have been told by the same person. Georgina wrote about her experience in her book Raceless in 2020. A DNA test showed that Georgina was exactly 43% Nigerian or ethnicity um, from Nigeria. Now, is it a coincidence that Georgina and Megan are both 43% Nigerian? <laughs> I mean, couldn't Megan even be a little creative and say she was 44% or 41% Nigerian. No, you know, she couldn't. She had to steal Georgina's story to the finest detail. Almost word for word, Megan made Georgina's story her own. The first thing Georgina did, for instance, was to phone her mother. Well, the first thing Megan says, she did was to phone her mother. It truly really appears that Megan lives in a world where she thinks she can just casually claim the life experiences of strangers as her own and 
Sometimes it even appears that she is so disturbed that she eventually believes her own stories and lies. I mean, honestly, how many of you can actually imagine telling a lie on a public platform to start off with? And then even to have the brass neck to follow up on it, like, for instance, with the trip to Nigeria. It is really a little, if not a lot, sick, severely disturbed. It's an absolute mystery to me as to why mainstream media, I mean, even Georgina herself, she is a journalist, do not run with a story like this. What are they afraid of? We know all Harry is not too bright, but heck, <laughs> is he really that dumb that he still cannot see or recognize Megan's lies? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I mean, there are copied articles about rubbish. All the mainstream media carrying the same trash. Megan Markle is ready to make Peace with Catherine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I mean, how ridiculous. I mean, now, she, the outsider, the lower rank, the instigator, the zetlist actress, is now ready to make peace with a princess? <laughs> really? The woman is sick, and I would not allow her near my wife and children if I was William. I'm not even sure whether I would allow Harry near them if I was William. Likely not. Anyway, the point I was actually going to make was that if mainstream media could be spreading such nonsense, why can't they write about Meghan stealing Georgina's story? It makes for much better reading and is... Far more factual. Okay, so here's a gentle reminder of what Megan actually said during the podcast and the circumstances under which she said it. Just a gentle reminder, like I said, enjoy. I just had my genealogy done a couple of years ago. What? What are you? 43% Nigerian. No way! <laughs> no way! Jacqueline! Oh my gosh, are you really serious? Yeah. <gasps> this is huge. Ibo, Yoruba, do we know? So I I mean, I'm going to start to dig deeper into all this because anyone that I've told, especially Nigerian women, are just like, <gasps> what? This is huge for our community. No, honestly, you do look like a Nigerian. You look like my Aunt Uzo. So this is great. Oh my goodness, Uzo. <laughs> Shout out. Okay, guys, my daughter and I had upset stomachs and nausea during the night, so I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. For the second time in about five or six years, I'm going to go take a nap after I fetched Dragon Man from school. Maybe my body needs it. I mean, I've been feeling a bit low on energy lately, but... I have indeed been working very hard and had a lot of stress. So maybe it all put together culminated in how I feel today. So my friends, all that is left for me to say is, please take good care of yourselves until, God willing, we meet back here again tomorrow. Bye.